following this like weird ghost girl that's been in our dreams. Aw. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna keep you. Oh, cool luck. What is up, my brother? And welcome back to the Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword HD. How are you all doing, everybody? It's been—it hasn't been that long since I played. I won't lie, it hasn't been that long. <laughs> Maybe like two days. I know I'm supposed to. Okay, so I, I, I think I'm making up new rules. Don't 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 quote me on them yet, but you know, just uh, just be ready. So anyway, last time we were here, a lot happened last time. The wing ceremony, uh, Groos, freaking took <laughs> our lost wing away, and we got we got a sword now, and Zelda got took, <laughs> and now we're on our way. Following this like weird ghost girl that's been in our dreams. Aw. Oh. Aw. <laughs> I'm gonna keep you. What the hell? It can fly? <laughs> Red Ruby. Or two Rubies is all in one place. It's gonna be doing that a lot in this game. <laughs> oh, where, did, where did she go? <laughs> I mean, I know her name, but I don't, don't want to say her name until. I don't want to say her name until. They, until the game says it, you know, because, like, just in case. There we go. Link, you okay doing that with the sword in your hand? <laughs> Alright, all right, up to you, my boy. <laughs> you want to be doing this type of shit. <laughs> Link, like, why am I following this girl? <sighs> I don't know this woman. It, it, it's, it's a girl. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it's a girl. Nope. You either. Hup. Oh, good jump, Link. Oh, you got a jelly blob. It may look like a boring wall of gunk, but it's used to make all sorts of things. And that's one for the encyclopedia. Well, that's one for the encyclopedia. I'll take those. Thank you very much. Yep. We can make it. There we go. Damn, girl. Hold on. I I I I don't like this. I have to hold the L button to look around the camera. I don't like that. But. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you win the rock. <laughs> to enter the cave of wonders, only take the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> only take the lamp. Inside the statue of the goddess. Oh wow, it's this early in the game to get the sword? <laughs> the one chosen by my creator. I've been waiting for you. You will play a role in this in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should I should provide you with my personal designation. Phi is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. 
I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Link. You must take up this sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. <laughs> the strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance. Uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would ex exhibit some apprehension. <laughs> what are you talking about, girl? <laughs> to minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. <laughs> My projections indicate that, that his information has a high that this information has a high probability of al altering your current emotional state. <laughs> the one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> and this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of some of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you sit out sit out to search for her. Does the information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of the Creator, draw the sword and raise and raise it skyward. Hey, skyward sword! Oh, that's why. Okay. <laughs> Just like that. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh my god, what if I let go of the, 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 the joystick and he put it down like, damn it, Link! <laughs> you got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Looks like a lightsaber. <laughs> Recognition complete. Master. Link. My master. <laughs> oh, wow, I got a lightsaber! Link. Ooh. I had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the chamber of the sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left of our was left to our to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of our room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will awake will wake from his long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then I, for it is then that a youth guided by my hand shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago. The sword that I've been kept that I've kept secret all these years. It began it began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things. Here alone with the sword, there was simply no er there was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah uh, yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical selection sections of the pages of the passages have been lost over the generations. <laughs> what, what passage? <laughs> the youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the guide's his chosen hero. And it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. <laughs> Let's 
some of Fahar's old textbooks talk about a place called the Surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. <laughs> now that's what she was talking about. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It's only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. I'm like, man, I got you, don't worry. Here, take this book. It should, it should give us a tour of music, you know. Oh, it's not even a book. <laughs> this, this tablet will illuminate a path to the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. <laughs> you got the Emerald Tablet. The weathered surface on the on this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Link, stop messing around. <laughs> Master, stop messing around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Master. The first thing you must do is hit the is hit the crest sitting in the room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. And this is where the beam came from. There we go. It's kind of like a poking stop. Oh, her Pokemon Unite came out. Oh, y'all be would y'all be down to do that? She like maybe I, I tried. <laughs> oh no, is that big? That tower is not gonna fit in that big ass place. Ooh, pretty light. <laughs> Link, you master, you have set up a beacon from Minecraft. Master Link, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the gods has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you place in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. Great. <laughs> I reside within your store and will accompany you in your, in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. I'm like a persona. Link, listen a moment. The nature of the Grey Apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have a big role, have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this Fi says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the God has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face Link, especially down there. But if you decided, but if you decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. Mm. What we see here today defies explanation, but it's the, it's, it is only the star of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legend's true. Okay, <laughs> you can count on me. Shit, you think I'll, I'm the main protagonist? You think, you, think, you think I got a choice? You do your people proud, Link. I'm the reason this whole series came into. I'm, I'm the reason this whole series came to be. <laughs> Dawn is drawing near. Has it been? It has been a long night for both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Link. And those clothes—they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You better change before you go. And there we go. Oh, we've got a chainmail under there.
<laughs> yeah, now you look straight. <laughs> that green uniform was what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. You don't say. <laughs> I do like the chainmail. It does look nice. I guess that's why he be. That's, I guess that's how he, he 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 be taking the hits in the other games, right? Take care on your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information about the ancient texts. You are always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the gods watch over and guide you. Man, you talk a lot. <laughs> I, old man, you talk a lot. I hear your spar your sparring instructor, the night commander, also knows that you will set off from Skyloft. He's concerned for you. Why don't you consider stopping by the sparring hall and speaking with him before you go? Link, be safe out there. I'm counting on you to find Zelda. You got me. You got me, don't worry. I got you, I mean. <laughs> Link! Fledge. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a right a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I can never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. You got the adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. Ooh, four slots. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it and you'll need it on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. You can you can buy some potions and a shield. They fit in the pouch and they might even come in handy on an adventure. Link, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. Thank you, Fledge. <laughs> You're a kind man, even though you ratted me out. Even though you, you fucked me over. Hey, I just saw the news. Out of, all the, out of all of us, how come only you get to be promoted to senior class? Talk about stupid calls. On top of all that, Groot won't come out of his room and Zelda is missing. It's all your fault. Where to go there, buddy? Some senior class guy you are. Oh, bitch, bitch, bitch. I don't got time for this. I gotta go find my girl that I've been saving for about 25 years now. But I don't know that because it's technically the first game in the series. You have a no, I, I did not hear you. I heard the news, Link. Zelda's fallen through the through the clouds, and you're going to look for her. Is that right? The head the headmaster told me there's a land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Ah, but it won't do much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. You got a wooden shield. Just like wooden shield breaks easily and can burn, so be careful how you use it. The wooden shield is light and. Maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all shields. Also, keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. To equip a shield, hold R. Select the shield you want to use and let go of R. If you're not sure how to use a shield, that Commander Egus at the sparring hall will happily teach you. Let me see. Ah, cool. It's more like, uh,. Well, that's not what. But oh, let's see. Let's see my master, bro. My 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 commander, Egus. And then I heard you're worried about me. No reason to. Link, the headmaster told me about your about Zelda. Poor girl. I'm worried about her. Now I don't know all the details of what's going on here, but the sword you're carrying is from Skyloft. It's an ancient artifact that can only be carried by the chosen one. And since you happy, since you happen to be the one carrying it. I guess I can figure out a lot of the rest of this crazy story. You know, Link, I just wish there was more I could do for you. But I can offer this as a parting gift. Get ready to learn some new moves. It's time to learn the secrets of defense. First, we'll start with the basics. When you're wor when you're worried about defense, take your shield out. Simple stuff, I know, but you need to review the basics. To lower your shield, swing your sword or, or, bar, or press B to put your sword and shield away entirely. Just be careful when attack when, when trying to uh, when trying to attack while on the defense. Every time you swing your sword, you move your shield out of the way, lowering your guard. 
why don't you try that first? Oh, that's a red shield, huh? Okay, my bad. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. uh, practical stuff. <laughs> it's really shit before night. I mean, I know how to do all this. Not gonna lie, I low key do. <laughs> I, I low key do know how to do all this. I mean, it's not it's not that difficult to figure out. <laughs> I don't know, I was thinking about... I guess I, I guess I gotta talk about this sooner, sooner or later, right? So I was thinking about how I'm gonna do this from, like, episode-wise. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword will result in a decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase the shield and potions of the bazaar in preparation for your journey. You read my mind, Fi. I just gotta find the bazaar. Oh my god, I killed the... I killed the butterfly, no! I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. I think this is the bazaar, right? This is the shop. Yes, it is. I really don't want this. I have to hold L to, to move this thing. I really don't like it. You're the. Oh yeah. Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. I can use the stuff you find to upgrade your gear and make it even stronger. If you shield, and if your shield breaks, taking a taking a beating. No worries, I can fix that too. So what will it be? Uh, upgrade gear? <laughs> you got it! These are all the items you have that I can upgrade right now. Oh, that doesn't leave much imagination, does it? <laughs> Can't upgrade that. Can you? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I was about to say, I'm like, I saw one thing lit, I have like, need two more. My bad, man, my bad. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's nothing personal, I just don't got the, the juice. Master Link. This treasure chest, like object, is a relic of ancient times, left by the gods for her chosen hero. However, I lack any, any information on how it can be opened at this time. Well, thank you, Fi. That's really awful. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, I know I can't. Ah, customer! Hello there, friend! My shop carries the finest products you'll find anywhere. Please, take a moment for your senses to savor the wonderful treasures I have prepared just for you, friend. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, how do I buy? Oh, yes, yes, allow me to explain. All you need to do is stand in front of any, uh, any of my wares and press A to examine this beauty. Take your time and shot to your heart's delight. It's always free to look, but my friend, my, my friend, and there's no pressure to buy. No pressure at all. Uh, I'll buy another shield. I know how. I actually know how I'll use this, this shield breaks. <laughs> ah, the wooden shield. You can use the block and repel attacks. You must be careful though, as it is as it will break if it takes too much abuse. Oh, and don't forget about fire. It will burn quite easily. It's not. Like, it's an unfortunate property of wood. It would be yours for fifty rubies. Care to buy a friend? I don't even know how much money I have. Is he gonna tell me everything that I get? <laughs> ah, the customer is always right. I've taken the liberty of placing your purchase in your pouch. <laughs> I know how to. Thank you. A weirdo. Hello. Yeah. Hey, you there. Yes, you. The adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're. You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least. Hmm. Let me tell you, I want to look at you and I can tell you'll need my potions by the cauldron full. Let's not try to slink away without stocking up. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, 
I forgot to ask you, you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. Mm. For some reason, I like you though. So I'll give you a spare empty bottle. I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing. It's a little, it's a little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can't put other things beside em potions in the empty bottle. So it's a useful thing to carry around. You got an empty bottle. You can fill it with all sorts of useful things. Mm. Empty bottles fill in your adventure pouches. Press R. Take a look. If you ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full, you can always drop off, drop on items off at the iron check. Mm. So what would you like to buy? Uh. Mm. It's a garden potion. This stuff makes you feel invincible. It's a potion that reduces the damage you take for a little bit of time. Uh, okay. I think I'll just take a heal potion. Ooh, that's a... Girl, that, it's, not even about the, it's not even about the taste. That potion was too much. I know red is. Heart potion, yep. I'll take that, ma'am. 20 rubies. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, uh -huh. Girl, that, that purple potion was too expensive. Heart potion. When placing your pouch, you can use this item to restore eight hearts. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. If you ever, if you want to buy a po buy a potion powered up, go see my husband at the end of the counter. He can mix something up for you. All right, you power up potions. I forgot. Restore eight hearts, and yeah, the game gave us six to start off. All right, so honestly, there's not much to do left here for now. Uh, I know Zelda games have a lot of quest stuff, and I don't even know if I'll do all those quests in my own time. Maybe I'll do them in my own time, or maybe I'll do them some lot. Is that, uh, is that Beetle? <laughs> I might do them sometime in my own time, live or whatever, but who knows. At the moment, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Hey, look up there. It's Beetle's air shop. It's here. He sells bug nets there. I want one so bad. There's a bell hanging down from the shop, and I hear if you ring it, Beetle will stop for you and pick you up. But the bell is high up off the ground. You have to launch something at it, and you hope of ringing it. That a fact, huh? Oh uh, yeah, that's the one. But at the moment, I don't have anything that can hit it. <laughs> you know, that's like... <laughs> no, you don't like one all these possible for a fucking reason. That's not gonna work. I'll learn this move. Uh, yeah, there we go. No, damn it! I was so close. Oh well. Um, let's let's just go. Thing is, I didn't know what to do. Um, I was thinking about doing each episode, you know, like a, like one of the, one of the temples or the dungeons. So you know, it's 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 a it's a full length episode. But it's like now I got now I'm here for like 30 minutes now, from cutscenes that I didn't finish yesterday. Uh, the, the other day, <laughs> yesterday, the other day. And so now I'm just like, uh, if I continue, like the dungeon will probably take an hour, <laughs> probably. Knowing my history with dungeons, it'll probably take an hour. So I'm just like, I don't want to take that long on it, but at the same time, I don't know, I don't, this, this episode, I mean, this session, this, where I'm at right now, this could be an episode. <laughs> just like a little quick one. Yeah. Alright, let's just go. <laughs> the sky. So I had to go over there and drop. Is that what it told me to do? I missed. Oh, dive. Oh my god. Oh, Link's not afraid of nothing. Can you imagine falling from this height? Jesus Christ! <laughs> I could never, even sky droppers don't fall from that height. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> ah! 
Whew. Man, sure I didn't though. Sheesh. Master Link, we've arrived. This is the fabled surface that has been long been a part of Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Uh oh. <laughs> I know this place. <laughs> Boodoop, <laughs> you are here. I was here. Yes, you don't need to show me that much detail. Please proceed with caution, Master. You got it, Fi. I did not tell you to bring out that sword. Huh. This is a safe point, right? Interesting. It's not lit up. Wonder why. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Ah! Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> Asshole. Ha! Oh, okay. I mean, they were my first enemies, but still, I wish. Uh -huh. Okay, these are taking hearts. Jeez, ow! You can at least draw some hearts too, you know. You guys are you guys are enemies. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, look, look, the Sheikah Slate! Like, damn, you felt that? <laughs> Shit, I feel like I'm in Kingdom Hearts. I felt that darkness. Imagine seeing that in your dreams, and no, nobody, <laughs> nobody can take that. Trust me. Scare a little kid to life. Scare a scar a little kid for life, bro. I swear. Like a good chance you can go through this whole game without the sword, without the shield. I mean, is that where I have to go? That little pop, pop, pop door. <laughs> huh? Well, whatever. I feel like there's something, to be, something was supposed to happen here. Uh huh. I don't have to. <laughs> Ooh! of destiny descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess Skywind. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Oh god. <laughs> 
And Link did it though. I was like, why, why am I listening to the voice that's telling me to do this something evil? Master Link, I'm sensing a change in the air that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your cell cloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you into the direction of this aura through a process known as drought dowsing. Would you like me to explain the process to you? Uh, yes, please. As you wish, Master. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to search for using the tip of the sword. The nearer the nearer you are to an object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. This response manifests itself through the vibration and sounds and sound. The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer you see. Oh. <laughs> Zelda. Hold up and select Zelda as your dowsing target, then point in the direction you wish to search. Alright, let me see. That's not. Somewhere up here, really? Like right here? Whoa. Right, let's see what let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, you're, you're, you're all right here, the door, right. Hey, you activated my switch. Good job. <laughs> the sealed temple. I don't think we're already here. <laughs> I don't think we're already here. I am pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm not here yet at the first temple. Please save. Thank you. Hmm. Oh. Hi there, I didn't see you. <laughs> oh. Ah. The traveler descended from the the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what is your name? Link? Ah, Link. Good. Very good. I sense you have already gained control over the secret power that fills your sword when it's pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. <laughs> It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, all so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess of an, an eternity ago. Your arrival here was pre predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you. Descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it. The gears of fate have begun to turn. <laughs> Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working the shadows. It appears to wrap the destiny of which you two are a part of. <laughs> Link. You are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable. But for now, you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She set off for far on woods to discover the, that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. The X upon your map marks the path that will lead to far on woods. You will be traveling an unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. 
so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at the location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point it at the X and press A to place the beacon. Though you cannot see it from where you are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Use the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacons well, and you will never fear the getting lost. Go now. You must head into Faron Woods and chase after the Spirit Maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should be proved useful on your journey. Oh, that's her hair. Fucking hell. You are ready. Leave through the door before you. Head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Ah. Know that all the questions you have will now be answered in time. For now. Link. Woo. Sorry. <laughs> Yawned. For now, for now. Link. Go bravely. I wasn't trying to blink. I wasn't trying to do that. It was just like, I don't know. The chest that was in this room. Ooh. A revitalizing potion. Fully replenishes your shield gauge and also restores four hearts. Nice. Alright, let's go. And there's the beacon. Huh. <laughs> Well, this should be this should be easy enough. <laughs> 